Joe Giulio for NJ Sports Now on this Monday, December the 22nd. As week 16 comes and goes in the NFL, the New York Giants, another victory, 37-27 over the St. Louis Rams. Really a nice win, considering the Rams had been very good in their building this year, including being the Seattle Seahawks, being the Denver Broncos, both of the Super Bowl participants from a year ago. The Giants, though, on offense had no problems moving the football up and down the field against a pretty good Rams defense. Eli Manning, one of the best games of his entire career. Odell Beckham Jr. continues to dominate the sport now, just one 90-yard game away from tying Michael Irvin's record for consecutive 90-plus yard games in NFL history. And that's not a rookie record, folks. That was done by Irvin in 1995. That's an NFL record. Beckham on the verge of tying that. Andre Williams, the rookie back, goes over 100 yards. And the Giants on defense, so many young players from Hankins to Moore to Kennard starting to make plays, starting to make their presence felt, and starting to give Giants fans some optimism for 2015. You know, for months, we talked about this Giants team as a, a organization, a franchise that needed to make changes, go into a rebuilding effort, reboot this thing, maybe, you know, keep Eli Manning as the, the veteran, the steady presence at quarterback, but maybe blow the rest of it up. But as the season has progressed, the storyline, the narrative has changed around the Giants. No longer do I think, after watching the Giants play well in the second half of the season and watch the way the NFC East went again, no longer can you really say the Giants are far away from being a team that once again can compete for the postseason. Really, I think they could do it as early as next year, as early as 2015. The Giants could be right back in the mix with a few changes and maybe not the drastic changes we once thought. Look at the NFC East. Once again, for the 10th consecutive year, a full decade now, no NFC East team has won back-to-back -back division titles. The Cowboys, credit to them. They won it this year, 11-4. Really played some excellent football this season along the way, being the Giants twice, of course. And Tony Romo, what a great December. They win the division. The Eagles, last year's champ, go through a December collapse. And now questions about the future of that team, the quarterback position, Chip Kelly. It's been a decade, a decade since any team, the 2003-2004 Philadelphia Eagles won back-to-back -back division titles in the NFC. So you add in the fact that the Cowboys, as good as they look now, probably by history, won't win this division next year. The Eagles have issues with the quarterback position and maybe with their head coach. And the Redskins, even though they won a nice game on Saturday, are a mess with their head coach and their quarterback situation. It leads you back, it circles you back to the Giants, who after yesterday's win now have two three-game winning streaks this season. If they could clean up some of their messes, and I mentioned the offensive line here, but played pretty well yesterday. If they can get another offensive lineman, they can get a little bit more health because 22 guys on IR, no way to go. And you could have a full season of Odell Beckham, another year of Eli Manning in this offense, which you know had some growing pains, but man, he has played really well this season, a 28-8 touchdown interception ratio if you take out that five-touchdown debacle against the 49ers. You know, the Giants, they looked like they were far away. And as the season has progressed, that has changed. The idea of the Giants being right back in the mix for the NFC Championship and a playoff spot next season is no longer far-fetched. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports.